All right, Terminator fans, next up on the block, we've got this guy right here. This is the Blaster T-1000. He looks more, to me, like something uh, out of Turn Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line than out of a, a Terminator line, but, you know, whatever works. I'm going to throw this uh, size marker right here so you can uh, see his rough scale here. He's about, what, I'd say about five and a half inches, a little under six inches, perhaps. Yeah, I'd go closer to five and a half on him uh, so you get an idea he's kind of similar to the other Kenner uh, figures at that time I know NECA I believe did uh did some some uh, retro kind of Kenner figures not too long ago so kind of similar to that but this is the original the vintage we're gonna flip him over show you the back as well just so you get an idea of it and man look at this this is just a blast from the past this is 30 years ago and unlike their Terminator War stuff, they tried to keep pretty movie accurate. So you got, you know, the the, the endoskeleton. You got a nice looking Arnold there. You've got this is a little uh, chunky. It's not quite him. But then all of a sudden you get this. What's going on here? What 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 happened? I don't I don't understand this vehicle at all. Again, very kind of reminiscent of. Uh, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles type stuff, uh, more in that line. And of course, without geeking out too much, it's canonically stated in the movie that he can't make projectiles that shoot out from him. But what did uh, uh, the folks at Kenner, who clearly had never seen the movie, <laughs> do? They decide, let's put some blasters on him, because kids like blasters, right? So I'll show you the card itself. Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing spectacular on that one. Typical shelfware. Wear at the corners, as you can see. The bubble is nice and tight. A little bit of, uh, looks like probably a sticker was on there at some point. Somebody uh, wiped it off, probably the uh, the original store sticker. So there's a little bit of residue. And then uh, he's got these. So you got some missiles in there. You got some stuff. They shoot out of his legs. He he bends over. He does all of this. This is crazy. But, uh, but man, that's what toys were in the 90s. So this is... A pretty fun uh, little little throwback, as it were. If you get a chance to get this, and you do, you can head on over to thebigtoyauction.com and bid on it right now. But I would recommend putting this in your collection just for the campiness of it, or just for the nostalgia of a really cool Terminator figure. Uh, even just that artwork. Now I kind of want to sell that artwork. Anybody out there knows who, uh, who who did this and that originally, uh, we would love to contact them and get that sold for them. But all around a cool piece. This is from 1991, the Terminator 2 Blaster T-1000. All right, here we go. From Terminator 2, this is from the 1991 Kenner line. So a little bit kind of... Uh, a little campy, a little goofy, as it were. Although this one, of all of them, is a little least, is, is probably the least goofy. Uh, it's about five and a half inches or so on a 12 inch card, so just so you see it. Um, this one is the closest, I think, or one of the closest to the movie figures. He does look like Silver Surfer there, but um, given the styling of the time and of those Kenner figures, that's about accurate. He's got that, uh, that exploding. Uh, action right there. If you remember the, uh, the, what was it, the Scorpion Alien, I think, from Kenner at around the same time had that same kind of action. Uh, so very similar and probably by some of the same designers. Uh, you know any of those designers? If you are any of those designers, give us an email. Uh, send us a message. Contact us. We'd love to talk with you. That would be fantastic. I would love to find out more about this because this is just, look at this. Look at all of this stuff right here going on. That blaster guy, and of course these. The motorcycle is kind of reasonable. It's a little chunky, kind of like uh, turtles, uh, teenage mutant ninja turtles kind of style. But I understand that's the, the the styling of the day and the technology that they had to work with in terms of molds, etc. This is absolutely fantastic. This bio flesh regenerator slime was a big thing back then, so of course you got that. You pour it on them. Outstanding, but why this? What is going on here with this car? <laughs> And these blasters and then we're not going to get started on the uh <laughs> the terminator future war line so if anybody knows some of those designers send them our way we'd love to talk with them we'll, we'll spend an hour we'll show you the rest of the card here fantastic 
condition. Uh, typical, typical shelf wear on it, so a little bending at the corners as you might see. Not even a lot of that slight delamination here at this corner. See it. But otherwise, pretty good. Bubble is tight. It's clear. No cracks, breaks, things, dents, crush wear. And some pretty cool, uh, well, you know, they, they don't focus on it. That's a shame. Shame that nobody uh, bothered there to focus on that. But you got some really cool accessories for him. So he's got uh, kind of the busted up grease gun. Why he has such an old gun, I, I don't know. And this laser weapon that he's got here that he couldn't have possibly brought through time with him. And then this... Uh, this big steel girder to whack across them. So they don't really make sense in terms of what you got there, but overall some pretty neat stuff. So if for no other reason than for nostalgia's sake or just to put this in your collection, you have to have this in your collection. It's a fantastic one to uh, get in there. This is the Terminator 2 exploding T-1000 with blast-apart action from Kenner, 1991.